What up, family? It's your boy Street News TV. Back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legends. And this episode is going to be about none other than G Herbo. Now, this story is an inspiration. Um, it's an inspiration for um, drill rappers. It's an inspiration for, you know, anybody that just comes from the streets in general. Not even necessarily just the streets of Chicago. Um, G Herbo comes from that No Limit set, the No Limit Muskegon Boys which is actually an alliance between No Limit, which are Stones, and GDs, which are um, Muskegon Boys. Now, um, they're from 77th to 79th, Essex to Saginaw. And um, what I find interesting about uh, No Limit is they're one of them sets that they got smoke on both sides. You see what I'm saying? So they got MTG on one side, then they got Ceno City on one side. You see what I'm saying? And those are two sets that No Limit beefs with. Um, as a matter of fact, Capo, rest in peace, um, he was actually killed by some guys from um, MTG, which is uh, Drama World. Yeah, he was actually killed by some guys from over there. And uh, Capo was actually from uh, No Limit. And this is one reason why No Limit and, you know, uh, Chief Keefs and the uh, the Dirks and the OTFs and the GBEs were so close. 600s, 300s have been, were so close and it's still close because of, um, you know, that relationship. And Capo was also, you know, from there. Um, they actually killed Capo. So, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, that was crazy. And actually, um, MTG has took a few No Limit members. We all know about No Limit. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, No Limit Wet em Up. You got Crazy James from No Limit. You got uh, Fazo. You got Kobe. You got uh, G Herbo. I mean, like Pistol Pete. They're 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 very well known uh, when it comes to street shit and when it comes to you know the music and to get money. Now, um, G Herbo. The reason why his story is so inspiring is because he's lost so many people that were close to him in his, you know, in his rise to fame. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, he lost Kobe. He lost Fazo. Um, he lost Pistol Pete. He also lost um, GBE Capo and, you know, what I'm saying countless other guys that's, that he was real close to. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, you know. This dude continues to be resilient. And that's one thing that, that, that that's great about black people. Um, no matter what we go through, we continue to fight. You know what I'm saying? We continue to fight and we continue to strive. You see what I'm saying? We don't we don't we don't give up. We don't believe in killing ourselves and shit like that. Like we don't give up. You know what I'm saying? We just keep on going. And uh G Herbo is, is you know, he's a very inspiring person because he continues to strive and get better and better and better and better and better. And better. I put G Herbo in the same category that I put Dirk in and in the same category that I put FBG Duck in and for the simple fact they're, they're the sole providers of, you know, of their gangs or whatever. And we all know that once you're able to alter people's reality, once you're able to, you know, put them in a position to where they can, generate currency so they can put smiles on their loved ones faces they begin to love you on a different level um it's not necessarily all about the about you know what they did in the streets and all of that that's not what makes them a general that's not what makes them a king what makes them a king what makes them kings and generals is the fact that they're able to um finagle and you know finesse their way into you know being better than the average they they climbed out of those situations now you still got fbg duck he you know he still live in chicago or whatever and you know dirk and um g herbo probably you know they probably still got you know places in chicago i'm very i'm positive that they you know they probably do but you know they're living like they've made it out of the hood basically so they got a lot of guys around them that's you know what i'm saying that you know they're not trying to let nothing happen to these guys because you know, this he's the he's the breadwinner. You know, not to say that they don't you know they don't still love him outside of that, but still like they're gonna more love you more. It's just what it is is it's, it's just human nature.
You see what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, yeah, he's lost a lot of guys and he continues to strive. And his music, in my opinion, it, it, it gets better and better. Um, even from the first time I heard Herbo, my brother actually put me on Herbo. And I know y'all hear me talk about my brother a lot because my brother put me on a whole lot of, you know, he put me on a whole lot of drill rappers that I wasn't, you know, accustomed to listen to. Um, another another example being King Louis. He put me on King Louis. But, um, yeah, G Herbo, right now he's at the peak of his career. And the first time I heard about him was, um, or heard any of his music, rather, was a song that he had with uh, Lil Bibby. And he went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Him and Lil Bibby, both of them went super crazy. And I have been following him ever since then. But it's like he just continues to get better. He continues to strive. You know what I'm saying? And I'm real happy for her boy seeing all his success. And then, like, I mean, you know, he he's he shot rack to the core, but you could tell that Herbo is actually a um he's actually a down to earth dude. You see what I'm saying? I don't feel like Herbo's the type of nigga that'll, you know, act funny just because he got money, like a lot of motherfuckers do. You see what I'm saying? I mean, of course to some some extent you have to you have to be different. We're just gonna be honest. A lot of people don't accept the fact that once you get money, now you're in another arena. So the things that you were doing before you got money, you aren't going to, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to keep saying that because people act like, you know, when people get money and they decide to move on out the hood, people act like that's a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. That's actually a great thing because nine times out of ten, prime example of GBE Capo, um, Another rapper, Mozzie. It's it's plenty of rappers that have gotten, you know, Jimmy Wapo that have gotten killed, you know, in the place that they stay after they've, you know, got some type of claim to fame or, you know, started doing good in their careers. So, you know, he's made it out and he continues to um he continues to impress me by, you know, just by watching him grow up and, and seeing the man that he's become. I feel like he got a, you know what I'm saying, he got a good, he got a good chick, which is uh, Fabulous' daughter. Shout out Fabulous. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I see him just progressing. You know, he doing little commercials and everything like that for Ball His Life. He doing little clips like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, shout out to Bibby. I think that eventually he'll transition into being more of the uh, the Bibby, the little Bibby. And the reason why I say that is because we understand that you make more money behind the scenes than you actually do rapping. This is facts. That's why you see rappers um, eventually end up going into things like um, acting. and You know what I'm saying? You might see them wrestling or any damn thing. You see what I'm saying? Because it's money in that gaming. It's money in that. You know what I'm saying? So eventually I feel like he'll be more behind the scenes. But also, um, you know, don't forget. You can be, you know, a rapper and, you know, get your money behind the scenes too. Prime example, Master P. Um, Dolph is one of those rappers. As of right now, um, Gotti is one of those rappers. You know those rap P. Diddy was one. You know the rappers that, you know, they rap. Snoop Dogg, they rap. But then again, you know, they got money coming from other different places, such as, you know, clothing or um, gaming or cologne or alcohol or you know things of that nature so i believe that um eventually he'll get to that um he's definitely on his way to greatness he's already a great person he's already a legend he's definitely a shot rack drill legend legend because he was coming up around that time when a uh, drill was you know first getting hot and um he was definitely going in and so you know, you got to put him in that category of a Chirac street legend because he definitely has that influence. Um, Like I said, G Herbo is top five in my list. Everybody keep asking me about my list. You know what I'm saying? Of greatest drill rappers of all time. G Herbo is... I, I would have to put G Herbo at... Number three on my list, and I'm going to tell y'all why. Because outside of the music, which the music is good too, and actually, 
Pappy is my number one. But if I look at it from a success angle, because Pappy never got Pappy never got the opportunity to blossom into, you know what I'm saying, into success. So if I look at it until, you know what I'm saying, it's just a success level, I would have to say um Chief Keef, um, Lil Dirk, then I would have to say, you know, G Herbo when it comes to drill. So, like I said, he's definitely top five. So he's the number, he he's the third person in my um, so he's definitely top three with me of the greatest drill rappers ever. Um, what he's brought to the game and what he's still bring it to the game and everything that he's endured you already know what time it is um street news tv giving y'all sh- this shit to y'all raw and uncut i have been and i will continue as of right now that i'm while i'm doing this video we're um a little bit up under a thousand subscribers so make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel um we got a long way to go, but it won't take us too long to get there. It's your boy SNTV. I'm out.